Question 272. You can use dash to create private connections between Azure data centers and infrastructure on your premises or in a colocation environment. And the options are A. Azure Express Route B. Azure Network Security Groups C. Azure Firewall D. Azure DNS And the correct answer is option A. Azure Express Route Explanation Next question. Dash enables centralizing your organization's file shares in Azure files while keeping the flexibility, performance, and compatibility of a Windows file server. And the options are A. Azure File Sync B. Azure File Manager C. Azure Resource Manager D. Azure Arc And the correct answer is option A. Azure File Sync Explanation Azure File Sync enables centralizing your organization's file shares in Azure files while keeping the flexibility, performance, and compatibility of a Windows file server. While some users may opt to keep a full copy of their data locally, Azure File Sync additionally has the ability to transform Windows Server into a quick cache of your Azure file share. You can use any protocol that's available on Windows Server to access your data locally including SMB, NFS, and FTPS. You can have as many caches as you need across the world. Azure file shares can be used in two ways, by directly mounting these serverless Azure file shares or by caching Azure file shares on premises using Azure file sync. Which deployment option you choose changes the aspects you need to consider as you plan for your deployment. Number one. Direct mount of an Azure file share. Since Azure files provides SMB access, you can mount Azure file shares on premises or in the cloud using the standard SMB client available in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Because Azure file shares are serverless, deploying for production scenarios doesn't require managing a file server or NAS device. This means you don't have to apply software patches or swap out physical disk. Number two, cache Azure file share on premises with Azure file sync. Azure file sync enables you to centralize your organization's file shares in Azure files while keeping the flexibility, performance, and compatibility of an on premises file server. Azure file sync transforms an on premises or cloud. Windows Server into a quick cache of your Azure file share. Next question. Dash, provide organizations with the ability to manage the compliance of Azure resources across multiple subscriptions. And the options are A. Azure Resource Groups B. Azure Management Groups C. Azure Policy D. Azure Conditional Access and MFA And the correct answer is option C. Azure Policy Explanation Azure Policy helps to enforce organizational standards and to assist compliance at a scale. Through its compliance dashboard, it provides an aggregated view to evaluate the overall state of the environment, with the ability to drill down to the pre-resource per policy granularity. It also helps to bring your resources to compliance through bulk remediation for existing resources and automatic remediation for new resources. Common use cases for Azure policy include implementing governance for resource consistency, regulatory compliance, security, cost, and management. Policy definitions for these common use cases are already available in your Azure environment as built-ins to help you get started. All Azure policy data and objects are encrypted at rest. For more information, See Azure Data Encryption at rest. Next question. Availability zones are implemented in all Azure regions. Is it yes or no? And the correct answer is it's no. Explanation. This might actually come as a shock to you, but not all Azure regions support availability zones. Next question. 
your company wants to copy blobs or files to OR from a storage account and is looking for a command line utility to accomplish this. Which of the following is the right choice? And the options are A. Azure AZ copy B. Azure file sync C. Azure bash D. Azure PowerShell And the correct answer is option A. Azure AZ copy Explanation AZ copy is a command line utility that you can use to copy blobs or files to or from a storage account. Next question. Your company is looking for a tool that can help with the following. Number 1. Upload, download and manage Azure storage blobs, files, queues and tables as well as Azure Data Lake storage entities. Number 2. Configure storage permissions and access controls, tiers and rules. Which of the following is the right choice? And the options are A. Azure AZ copy B. ARM templates C. Azure Storage Explorer D. Azure VM Scale Sets And the correct answer is option C. Azure Storage Explorer Explanation Azure Storage Explorer is a free tool to conveniently manage your Azure Cloud Storage resources from your desktop. You can easily use it to do the following. Upload, download and manage Azure storage blobs, files, queues and tables as well as Azure Data Lake storage entities and Azure managed disk. Configure storage permissions and access controls, tiers and rules. Next question. Which of the following are like a physical disk in an on-premises server but virtualized? And the options are. A. Azure Blobs B. Azure SQL Databases C. Azure Virtual Machines D. Azure Managed Disk And the correct answer is option D. Azure Managed Disk Explanation Azure Managed Disk are block-level storage volumes that are managed by Azure and used with Azure Virtual Machines. Managed disks are like a physical disk in an on-premises server but virtualized. With managed disk, all you have to do is specify the disk size, the disk type and provision the disk. Once you provision the disk, Azure handles the rest. The available types of disk are Ultra Disk, Premium Solid State Drives SSD, Standard SSDs and Standard Hard Disk Drives HDD. For information about each individual disk type, see Select a Disk Type for IAAS VMs. Next question. Your company is building a mission-critical application and wants a synchronous message management for communication between application components, whether they are running in the cloud, on the desktop, on-premises, or on mobile devices. They also expect sudden bursts of requests and are looking to prevent servers from being overwhelmed. Which of the following is the right choice? And the options are A. Azure Table Storage B. Azure File Sync C. Azure Queue Storage D. Azure Sync Manager And the correct answer is option C. Azure Queue Storage Explanation You can use Azure Queue Storage to build flexible applications and separate functions for better durability across large workloads. When you design applications for scale, application components can be decoupled so that they can scale independently. Queue storage gives you a synchronous message queuing for communication between application components, whether they are running in the cloud, on the desktop, on-premises or on mobile devices. You can also use queue storage to right-size your service deployment. Applications absorb unexpected traffic burst, which prevents servers from being overwhelmed by a sudden flood of requests. Monitor queue length to add elasticity to your application and deploy or hibernate additional worker nodes based on customer demand. Next question. Which of the following can be leveraged for transferring data to the cloud such as cloud archival, disaster recovery or if there is a need to process your data at cloud scale? And the options are A. Azure Data Box Gateway B. Azure File Sync C. Azure Cosmos DB D. Azure Arc And 
The correct answer is option A. Azure Data Box Gateway. Explanation: Azure Data Box Gateway is a storage solution that enables you to seamlessly send data to Azure. This article provides you an overview of the Azure Data Box Gateway solution, benefits, key capabilities, and the scenarios where you can deploy this device. Data Box Gateway is a virtual device based on a virtual machine provisioned in your virtualized environment or hypervisor. The virtual device resides in your premises and you write data to it using the NFS and SMB protocols. The device then transfers your data to Azure Block Blob, Page Blob or Azure Files. Use cases Data Box Gateway can be leveraged for transferring data to the cloud such as cloud archival disaster recovery, or if there is a need to process your data at cloud scale. Here are the various scenarios where Data Box Gateway can be used for data transfer. Number 1. Cloud Archival Copy hundreds of TVs of data to a zero storage using Data Box Gateway in a secure and efficient manner. The data can be ingested one time or an ongoing basis for archival scenarios. Number 2. Continuous Data Ingestion Continuously ingest data into the device to copy to the cloud regardless of the data size as the data is written to the gateway device. The device uploads the data to Azure storage. Number 3. Initial bulk transfer followed by incremental transfer. Use data box for the bulk transfer in an offline mode, initial seed and data box gateway for incremental transfers, ongoing feed over the network. Next question. To begin using Azure storage, you first create an Azure dash to store your data objects. And the options are A. Storage section B. Storage account C. DNS D. Resource group And the correct answer is option B. Storage account Explanation Azure storage is a service that you can use to store files, messages, tables, and other types of information. Clients such as websites, mobile apps, desktop applications, and many other types of custom solutions can read data from and write data to Azure Storage. Azure Storage is also used by infrastructure as a service virtual machines and platform as a service cloud services. To begin using Azure Storage, you first create an Azure Storage account to store your data objects. You can create an Azure Storage account by using the Azure Portal, PowerShell or the Azure CLI. Your storage account will contain all of your Azure Storage data objects such as blobs, files and disk. Next question. A new startup needs to control its cloud environment so that it complies with several industry standards but it's not sure where to start. They have existing business requirements and understand how these requirements relate to their on-premises workloads. These requirements also must be met by any workloads they run in the cloud. Which of the following can help them in this case? And the options are A. The proven roadmap for Azure B. Microsoft Defender for Cloud C. The Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure D. The Azure Blueprint for Cloud And the correct answer is option C. The Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure Explanation The Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure provides you with proven guidance to help you with the cloud adoption journey. The Cloud Adoption Framework helps you create and implement the business and technology strategies needed to succeed in the cloud. Cloud Adoption Framework consists of tools documentation and proven practices. The cloud adoption framework includes these stages. Number 1. Define your strategy. 2. Make a plan. 3. Ready your organization. 4. Adopt the cloud. And number 5. Govern and manage your cloud environments. Next question. Which of the following is not an Azure subscription type? And the options are A. Member offers. B. Pay for a year. C. Free trial. D. Pay as you go. And the correct answer is option B. Pay for a year. Explanation 
You probably know that an Azure subscription provides you with access to Azure resources such as virtual machine, storage, and databases. The types of resources you use affect your monthly bill. Azure offers both free and paid subscription options to fit your needs and requirements. They are number 1. Free Trial A free trial subscription provides you with 12 months of popular free services, a credit to explore any Azure service for 30 days, and more than 25 services that are always free. Your Azure services are disabled when the trial ends or when your credit expires for paid products, unless you upgrade to a paid subscription. Number 2. Pay as you go. A pay as you go subscription lets you pay for what you use by attaching a credit or debit card to your account. Organizations can apply for volume discounts and prepaid invoicing. Number 3. Member offers. Your existing membership to certain Microsoft products and services might provide you with credits for your Azure account and reduced rates on Azure services. For example, member offers are available to Visual Studio subscribers, Microsoft Partner Network members, Microsoft for Startup members, and Microsoft Imagine members. Next question. Dash notifies you about Azure service incidents and plan maintenance so you can take action to mitigate downtime. And the options are A. Azure Trust Center B. Azure Monitor C. Azure Active Directory D. Azure Service Health And the correct answer is option D. Azure Service Health Explanation Azure Service Health provides personalized alerts and guidance for Azure Service issues. Azure Service Health notifies you about Azure Service incidents and plan maintenance so you can take action to mitigate downtime. You can also configure customizable cloud alerts and use your personalized dashboard to analyze health issues, monitor the impact to your cloud resources, get guidance and support, and share details and updates. Next question. Role-based access control is applied to a dash which is a resource or set of resources that this access applies to. And the options are A. Scope B. Resource Set C. Group D. Blueprint And the correct answer is option A. Scope Explanation When you have multiple IT and engineering teams, how can you control what access they have to the resources in your cloud environment? It's a good security practice to grant users only the rights they need to perform their job and only to the relevant resources. Instead of defining the detailed access requirements for each individual and then updating access requirements when new resources are created, Azure enables you to control access through Azure Role-Based Access Control. Azure provides built-in roles that describe common access rules for cloud resources. You can also define your own roles. Each role has an associated set of access permissions that relate to that role. When you assign individuals or groups to one or more roles, they receive all of the associated access permissions. Role-based access control is applied to a scope, which is a resource or set of resources that this access applies to. Here's a diagram that shows the relationship between roles and scopes. Scopes include a management group, a collection of multiple subscriptions, a single subscription, a resource group, and a single resource. Next question. What is the minimum number of virtual machines and minimum number of availability zones, respectively, that must be used to guarantee an SLA of 99.99%? And the options are A. Two virtual machines one availability zone b one virtual machine one availability zone c one virtual machine two availability zones d two virtual machines two availability zones and the correct answer is option d two virtual machines and two availability zones explanation azure offers industry best slas for vms however 
to guarantee an SLA of 99.99%. You must have two or more instances deployed across two or more availability zones. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.